Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine. Now it's been a while because I've been gallivanting. <laughs> well, as I said in my last video, we were going to New York. So we went to New York for seven nights and it was incredible. If you've ever been to New York before, you might understand what I mean, but um, oh, I loved it. Absolutely loved it and want to go back straight away, pretty much. So we are thinking of booking another trip once we can afford it. But yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. I loved it. Not not really much more I can say. I will talk a little bit more about New York in another video, but for now, just know that I had an incredible time. <laughs> so sorry it's been a little while. I do feel like I've abandoned you all. It's been well over two weeks since my last video, and that was part one of a two-part video, so it's been a bit of a shame that it's taken so long to get the second part up, but here we are. So I'm going to show you the rest of the things that I made in March and also share one more of my favourite things of that month. It's going to be a lot of wafting going on in this video. It's so warm today. We're having a glorious Easter weekend in the UK, which is always welcome, but it just means I'm a bit shiny. <laughs> I'm drinking water today in my Hard Rock Cafe New York glass. Yep, icy cold water is just what's needed for this weather, as well as a nice cold glass of wine, but that will come maybe after this video. <laughs> right, so I've got another, how many things? One, two, three, four, five. Five things that I made in March that I wanted to talk to you about. Now, I've grabbed these things mostly from the dirty washing basket. <laughs> So they're all a bit creased up, but obviously we will put pictures in. I say we, Sam obviously, will put pictures in of everything. I will show you what I'm wearing. So I am wearing the Ogden Cami, and this is made in fabric from First for Fabrics. I'm trying to cover up my bra straps, not very successfully. <laughs> and yeah, I bought this fabric last year from First for Fabrics, and yeah, it's really nice, really floaty. You need less than a metre for this pattern, which is fantastic. And then I'm wearing my very pretty necklace from So Dainty, which I talked about last time, and I love. So yeah, there's my little outfit of the day. I'm also wearing a skirt that I made, the Tilly and the Buttons Nest skirt, but I can't show you as it is for an upcoming blog post with Fabric Magpie, and that'll be going live in the next few days, so you'll be able to see it there. So, in March, I made another two Ogden camis because they're just a wardrobe staple for me. I absolutely love them. They're so simple to make. They use so little fabric. They are by True Bias. I'm sure you've all heard of the Ogden cami before as it's such a popular one. So I made one from a remnant of viscose from Sew Me Sunshine. And it's, sorry, this is one that I got out of the dirty washing basket, so it's really creased. So there we go. It's just a lovely, cute daisy print. I think it's daisies. And that was, I'm sure it was a remnant of about 70 centimetres and I managed to get that quite comfortably out of that. So yeah, that's the first Ogden Cami. That was a nice cheap and cheerful make. The next one, not so cheap and cheerful, but special and beautiful. <laughs> I need to waft again. Pretend I look glamorous, like, in a photo shoot. <laughs> so yeah, the second one that I made was in this stunning Liberty viscose from Guthrie and Garney. I just absolutely loved the print on this. It's so vibrant, it's so colourful. Yeah, I loved it. Got my label sewn into the back, which are from Dutch Label Shop. I'll link them down below, but I've got my own logo on there. And with this one, I actually tried something different, which was, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but a rolled hem on the overlocker for the very first time. Yeah, I've never tried it before, but I think it gives a really, really lovely finish, really neat. And it was really actually quite straightforward. I just read the instructions in the manual and absolutely fine. So really happy with that one. As I say, this one was a bit more expensive because I bought a metre of fabric to make this one from Guthrie and Garney and it was around 23 pounds a metre I think with it being Liberty but yeah I really really loved that one. Still not not bad value really for a lovely top that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of. 
Then the next thing I've got to show you is another tried and tested pattern, which is the Grainline Studio Linden Sweatshirt. And I made it in this lovely animal print jersey from Like So Amazing. And it might look quite boring, quite plain here, but when you go outside into the sunlight, all of these white patches actually change colour and they become gorgeous pastels like pink and blue and yellow and it's really really exciting. I wore this to work one day and I'm a teacher, primary school teacher, and the children were absolutely fascinated when we went outside. I, I sort of said to them, watch my jumper when we go outside and they just couldn't believe it. Really couldn't believe it. So yeah, love this one. I've used black ribbon from First for Fabrics for the neckband the cuffs and the hemband and yeah just a another linden sweatshirt for my wardrobe but I like this one because it's got something a bit different so when we go outside it becomes a bit more interesting. So this one fits in with our challenge theme for April which is Sewing Animal April. If you haven't already got involved in that you've still got a few days left so head over to my Instagram to find out more about it and see if you could get an entry in before the end of the month. And the last two things to show you are a matching set. A few videos ago I talked about wanting to make a lounge suit out of the linden sweatshirt and the Hudson pants and I've done that. So the fabric I used was again from Like So Amazing and it's this gorgeous cat print, so cats and florals which is just so cute. What's really good about this fabric actually is it's a non-directional print because if you look closely some of the cats are actually upside down so that made it really good for playing pattern tetris and actually managing to fit all the pieces on. I did have plenty actually because I think I ordered two and a half meters of this when it was first in stock on Sarah's website because I loved it so much but I've actually used contrast jersey for all of the neckband, hemband and cuffs again and that was from First for Fabrics. I just took in a bit of this material and matched it up as close as I could with a nice plain jersey that would complement it. So yeah, that's the Linden sweatshirt. And then to go with it, I made, this is gonna be hard to show, <laughs> the Hudson pants. So we have got the Hudson joggers. Again, all contrasting bits with the fabric from First of Fabrics and the cord. Now what I didn't do, which is a bit silly, I didn't like finish or seal the ends. So obviously when I've worn it, it's gone all frayed like that. So I think I'll need to chop them <laughs> and tie them again and seal the ends. But they are so comfortable. Yeah, they're just lovely. I've worn them a lot and that's why I've just got them out of the washing basket. But it just makes a really perfect lounge suit. For wearing around the house where I don't feel too pyjama-y, but I'm comfortable as if they were pyjamas. <laughs> so yeah, very, very happy with that set. Just hit myself in the face with that tie. <laughs> so that's everything I made in March. And the last thing I wanted to talk to you about was another of my favorite things from the month. And I'm a little bit cheeky putting this into my March favorites because actually it's something that came out on the 1st of April, but I was informed about it in March and the 1st of April is nearly March isn't it so I'm, I'm gonna get away with it and that is something called the In A Haystack digital sewing pack and it's something that I'd seen around on Instagram a lady called Kate has set it up and she'd been sort of posting about it for a little while and it's something that I'd been interested in but I do subscribe to quite a few different things and I'd kind of held off and held off subscribing to this because I thought it's another thing and really, you know, the cost is creeping up with all of the different things that I subscribe to. But I'd been in sort of conversation with Kate and she kindly offered to send me the first pack at no charge, so for free. You know what no charge means. <laughs> so yeah, to send me the first pack for free in return for me giving an honest review on my YouTube channel, which I was very happy to do. And I will be completely honest with you about it. You know, I'm not going to say it's brilliant if I don't think it's brilliant. I'm not going to say it's terrible if I actually think it's pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to explain to you what the Inner Haystack pack is. 
and what my thoughts are on it. Actually, the fact that I'm calling it one of my favourites of the month kind of gives the game away, but... <laughs> so on the 1st of April, an email came through and it was the Inner Haystack pack. And I'm not sure what I was expecting. I know that there'd been mention of a discount code for a fabric supplier, a pattern, like a free PDF pattern, but, you know, I didn't expect... I didn't know what to expect other than that. But when it came through to my email, I was really, really pleasantly surprised because there was so much more in it than I was expecting. So it was basically like a magazine, but by email, which was really lovely. So when I opened the email, it Kate introduced the pack and talked about the theme of the month. So the theme for the first pack was celebrating the wonderful sewing community. And she went on to mention a few things like events that are going on, challenges, Instagram accounts to follow, podcasts to listen to, that sort of thing. Ways that you can get involved in the sewing community and things that are already going on. And then the main part of the pack was based around the sewing pattern and the free sewing pattern this month was the honeycomb dress and blouse from Coco Wow Crafts. Now I actually already own that sewing pattern but I wasn't too disappointed to be honest because that's gonna happen you know if you do subscribe and it'll be lovely if a lot of you did because I think it's worth it and I think you would enjoy it. Um, there may be the odd month where you do already own the sewing pattern but you know, that's fine. You could maybe gift it to somebody else or, you know, just accept that that month it wasn't the pattern that you didn't already own. So yeah, it was the honeycomb dress and blouse. And that's a pattern that I already own, but I haven't actually made yet. So it has prompted me into getting that cut out and I am going to be starting work on one very soon. Then there was a lovely interview with Anna, who is the designer behind Coco Wawa Crafts. And you learn lots about her, which was lovely. She's a really lovely person to read about so yeah I enjoyed that. Then there was the discount code for the fabric shop and this month it was the lovely fabric magpie which is run by Boz and it was a 20% discount which is really fantastic. So again there was an interview with Boz and some top tips from her. So using that 20% discount code I did actually go on and order some fabric so I thought I'll just show you them now to give you an idea of what I got but 20% is a lot. <laughs> it's a really decent discount. Often places offer 10% but 20% is a really good discount. So I actually ordered, let's see, three pieces. One of them not for me. So <laughs> so I'll show you the first one. Now I'm showing you the top that I've got in this fabric but I ordered another two meters of this fabric for my mum because she really loved it. So it's that gorgeous jersey in mustard yellow leopard print. So I got two meters of that for my mum and then I also ordered some more of it for me and I think I got a meter or maybe even a meter and a half of that for me just so I can make a nice top or a little dress out of it because I loved it so much and it's such good quality it's so soft. So yeah got that one as well and then I got something which is a little bit different for me I suppose. Although when I look at what I'm wearing now this top that I'm wearing it's not too dissimilar. <laughs> But this is actually the new range of fabrics from Lisa Comfort and it's a crepe and I got it in black. Laura at Fabric Magpie had it in two different colourways and I chose the black and I just, I really like the colours. I like the blue and the little pink dots and I thought that would make a really nice blouse or something for work. It's really nice and cool and drapey and yeah, I love it. So they were my three pieces that I bought using the discount code. So it was really nice to go on and support a business in the sewing community by using the discount code, but then also getting the benefit of the beautiful fabric at a cheaper price. <laughs> there was another discount code in there and it was for Wimwam Buttons. So Wimwam Buttons is a family run business based in the UK. They make beautiful, handcrafted buttons using sort of pottery techniques and they're all hand painted. Now you got a 10% discount plus free delivery I believe for women buttons. I didn't make an order using that because I'd already ordered some of the buttons from Sew Me Sunshine but I thought I would show you the ones that I got because they are absolutely beautiful. So I don't think it'll show up just how stunning they are but they're gorgeous and you can see just the, the shimmery and they're really detailed and I don't know how to get these in focus. But yeah, really pretty. 
I'll try and put a close-up picture in. Sam will try and put a close-up picture in <laughs> so you can see them in more detail. But yeah, you got a discount code for Women Buttons, which is great. And I think that was everything. So yeah, just to round off why it's my favourite thing. Obviously, I was really grateful to Kate for sending it to me. I was really impressed by the content. So it wasn't just, here's a discount code, here's a pattern, goodbye. <laughs> it was a really lovely magazine, basically. And I really enjoyed learning about Anna and Laura and, you know, all of the content that was in that email. And the businesses that had chosen to be part of that first Haystack pack were fantastic and all businesses that I'm aware of and would really love to support. I obviously was impressed because I now have subscribed to it for next month and going forward. So if you would like to subscribe as well, it's only £10 per month and really for the content that you get, that is fantastic. You just go on to, I'll leave the link below, but you go onto the website, you sign up by the end of April and then that will get you the May pack which will be emailed out to you at the start of May. So yeah, I would recommend it if you're interested and there's no commitment so you could get next month's pack, see how you feel about it and then choose whether to carry on with your subscription. I would hope that you would but, you know, entirely up to you. So yeah, that's everything I wanted to talk about today. I'm now going to go out in the sunshine and enjoy the beautiful weather while it lasts. Yeah, thank you for watching again and I hope I'll be back very soon with a new video. <laughs> Happy sewing, bye! Waft. <laughs>